Now, number six, we're giving a quadrilateral and we're asked to look for the area. Do you remember what we said about quadrilaterals? We said a diagonal divides a quadrilateral into two right angled triangles. Now, if you look at this quadrilateral, you will see a right angle here and another right angle here. So we've named it A and B. So to look for the area of this quadrilateral, we sum the area of triangle A and the area of triangle B. So let's do that. We put all this into the formula. Tri the formula for looking for a triangle, we said is half base times height. So the first triangle A, 10 multiplied by 3, that's what we have here, plus half 6 multiplied by 9. So the final answer is 15 for area A is 15, and the area of B, the area of triangle B is 27. So when you take the sum, we have the area of this quadrilateral as 42 centimeters square. Now, straight away, we'll be moving to area of circles, area of circles. Now, the area of a circle is given by R square, where R is the radius. Okay, and radius is half a diameter. Okay, R is radius, and radius is, is the same as half a diameter. So, pi over 2, or 3.14 is the given value. Okay, the given value for pi is 3.14. Now, let's take some examples. Number 1, calculate the area of a circular mass. A circular mass, circle, whose diameter is 20 Centimeters. Now use the value of 3.14 for pi. That is pi is equal to 3.14. Number two, a goat is tied to a peg in the ground. The rope is 3 cm long. The, the rope is 3 centimeters long. What area of grass can the goat eat? Use 3.1, okay, for pi. Number three, a window is in the shape of a semicircle. Okay, a window is in the shape of a semicircle and it has a diameter of 70 centimeters. Now look for the area, okay, using the value of pi as 22 over 7. We're asked to look for the area of the glass in the window. Take note of this question. They said the window is in the shape of a semicircle, okay, with a diameter of 70 centimeters. Number four, find the area of the shape shown below. Okay, these are the shapes we have. We have this one here, and we're asked to use pi 22 over 7 for pi. So we should take pi as 22 over 7. Now, if you look at this shape, it's a compound shape. You see a kind of semicircle here and a rectangle. So we're asked to look for the area of this shape. Number five, we're asked to find the area of this shape also, okay, in meters. Take note of this question in meters. But this is the shape we're given. Number six, we're asked to find the area of the shaded part. This is the shaded part here. And we're asked to use 22 over 7 for pi. Number 7, we have a circle here. Okay, let's read the question. A design is made by drawing small circles inside one big large circle. This is the big circle. You can see small circles in this circle as shown in this figure. If the diameter of the large circle, that is the diameter of this circle, if the diameter of this circle is 30 centimeters, calculate A, the radius of the large circle, the radius of the large circle, B, the radius of each of the small circles, okay, C, the area of the shaded part in the figure, and take pi as 3.14. Now, the first question, we're given a diameter, and we're asked to look for the area of the circle. Okay, so the first thing to do is to look for the radius. You know that area of a circle is pi r2. So diameter is equal to 20 over 2 because radius is twice the size of a diameter. So you divide diameter by 2 and we have our radius. It can be written as half multiplied by diameter, which is 20 over 2. And we have the radius as 10 centimeters. So given that the formula for area of a circle is pi r square. We multiply all together. We said pi is given as 3.14. So we multiply all. We, the radius is 10 centimeters. So you can just raise 10 to the power of 2 or 3.14 times 10 times 10 will give us our answer. So the answer, the area of the given circle is 
314 centimeters square. Now, number two, let's go and re let's go over the question. Let's go over the question. Number two, a goat is tied to a peg in the ground. Okay, the rope is three centimeters long. Take notes. What area of grass can the goat eat? Area. Then use the use 3.1, 3.1, not 3.14, not 20 over 7, for pi. Now, solution. The rope, which is the radius, is 3 meters. The rope is 3 meters. And you know that area of a circle is given as pi r squared. They said we should take pi as 3.1. So we do that. 3.1 multiplied by 3 raised to, pi, raised to the power of 2. Or 3.1 times 3 times 3. So our answer, the area of the circle formed, okay, is 27.9 meters square. Now, number three, we're given a semicircle. They said a semicircle is given, the diameter of a semicircle was given. So we should look for the area of the circle. You know that a, circle, a semicircle is half of a circle, okay? A semicircle is half of a circle. And diameter is giving us half radius multiplied by 2. Okay, radius is just simply diameter over 2. Simplify it, diameter over 2, that's D over 2. The diameter was given to us as 70 centimeters. So the radius will be 70 over 2, which is 35 centimeters, okay? 35 centimeters. You know that the area of a circle is pi r square. Okay, the area of a circle is pi r square. Therefore, to look for the area of a semicircle, which is half of a circle, you divide the area of a circle by 2. Or you can just say half pi r square. So you impute the figures into the formula. Okay, you divide, you do the multiplication, and you get we get our answer. So the area of the of the semicircle is 1,925 centimeters square. Number four, we're given a kind of compound shape here, and we're asked to look for the area. Now, if you look at this, if you look at this shape, you see we have a rectangle and we have a kind of circle here. But if you take note, this is a semicircle. It is not a complete circle. This is a semicircle. So the first thing to do is to look for the area of the rectangle. Okay, look for the area of the rectangle. And we said that formula for looking for area of rectangle is length times breadth. So very simply, we multiply and we get our answer, the area of the rectangle as 280 meters square. Now, to look for the area of the B, we look for the the, to look for the area of the B, which is a sec, which is a semicircle, we look for the area of the circle first, divide by two, or you say half pi r square. So you put the values into the formula and you get your answer. So the answer to this question is 77 meters square. Okay, the area of this, the area of the figure, is the addition of a, of the rectangle and the addition of the area of the semicircle, okay? The addition of the area of the rectangle and the addition of the area of the semicircle, which is which we've labeled as A and B here. A and B, rectangle, semicircle. So we've looked for the areas individually. We said we look for the area of the rectangle as 280 meters square and the area of the semicircle as 77 meters square. So the area of the figure is the area of A plus the area of B. And when you take the sum, we have our answer as 357 meters square. Now, number five, we're given another compound shape very similar to what we just did. If you look at this shape very well, you see a rectangle here and a semicircle, a semicircle. Now, to look for the area, we first of all look for the area of the rectangle and we look for the area of the semicircle and we take the sum and we get the area of the shape. So the area of the rectangle is given as length times breadth. We all know that, so you multiply. And we have the area of the rectangle as 160 meters square. So let's look for the area of the semicircle. We said the area of a circle is pi r square, and the semicircle is half a circle. So the area of a semicircle is half pi r square. So you impute all that into the formula. The diameter is given as 14 meters. The radius is given as 7 meters. When you do that, you have the area of the semicircle as 77 meters square.
Therefore, the area of the figure given is area of B and area plus the area of A, which is the area of the rectangle plus the area of the semicircle. Now, when you take the sum 160 plus 77, we have the area of this figure as 237 meters square. I hope you understand. Number six, number six, we're given a compound shape. This is a very complex shape. We have a triangle here, a right angle triangle here, and we have here what looks like a circle, but it's not a circle. It is not a semicircle, but it is a quadrant, okay? It is a circle split into four parts, okay? So, the area of this circle would be 1 over 4 pi r square. Remember, the area of a semicircle is half or 1 over 2 pi r square. The area of a, of a quadrant, which is a uh, circle divided into four parts, would be 1 over 4 pi r square. The radius was given as 14 meters. So you impute that into the formula. You have the answer as 154 meters. Okay, you just do the multiplication, then you get your area of the quadrant. Now, the area, to get the area of this unshaded part, to get the area of the unshaded part, we look for the area of this triangle. Okay? The question here is to look for the area of the unshaded part. Now, if you look very well, you see that the triangle wasn't shaded, the uh, circle into four parts was shaded. Now, we're looking for the area of the unshaded part. You look for the area of the triangle first. Area of triangle is given as half base times height, so you just impute that into the formula, okay? And we have the area of the triangle as 98 meters square. So to get the area of the shaded part, to get the area of the shaded part, we've looked for the area of the unshaded part now. To get the area of the part that was shaded will be the total area, okay? The total area minus the area unshaded. The total area minus the area unshaded. That's the total area of this minus the area unshaded. The area unshaded is the area of the triangle. So 154 minus 98 will give us 56 meters square. Now, the last question, we're giving a circle. This is a circle we're giving, a big circle, having smaller circles inside it. Okay? And we're asked to look for the area of the big circle, the area of the small circle, and we're asked to look for the area shaded. Okay, we're asking for the area shaded. Now let's go. The diameter of the big circle was given to us as 30 centimeter in the question. Okay, so we know that radius, to find radius, we divide the diameter over 2. So D over 2, 30 over 2 will give us 15 centimeters. Now, the radius of each small circle, the radius of each of the small circle will be 15 over 3, okay, which will give us 5 centimeters. Now, to get the area of the big circle, to get the area of the big circle, we know that the area of a circle, a normal circle, is pi r squared. Pi given to us as 3.14. So, we square the radius. We've found the radius as d over 2, which is 15. We've solved, calculated for it. So, we take the multiplication of all these. 3.14 times 15 raised to the power 2, or 3.14 times 15 times 15. And the area of the big circle is 706.5 centimeters square. Now, the area of the small circle. Now, let's look for the area of the small circle. Area of a normal circle is given as pi r square. Okay? Now, the radius of the small circle Remember, the radius of the big circle was 15. Now, the radius of the small circle, we looked for it, and we got the answer as 5 centimeters. Now, let's put that into the formula. So, we'll have 3.14 multiplied by 5 raised to the power 2, or 3.14 times 5 times 5. We have the answer as 549.5 centimeters. Now, to get the area shaded will be area of the big circle minus the area of the small circle, okay? We look for the area of the small circle, that of the big circle. So we do the subtraction. We remove the area of the small circle from that of the big circle. When you do that, we have our final answer as 157 centimeters squared. I hope you understood 
that. Now, let's take some evaluations to see if we followed all that we've learned today. Number one, the area of a square board is 144 meters square. Calculate the length of a side of the board. A square board, remember we said square has four equal lengths, so we know what to do. Number two, a hall is in the shape of a square, 30 meters by 30 meters. A hall is in the shape of a square, 30 meters by 30 meters. A podium in the shape of a rectangle, take note of the shapes. A, a podium in the shape of a rectangle is carved out and measured 25 meters by 5 meters. Calculate the area of the space left. Okay, number three, calculate the area of the triangle shown in the figure below. Okay, this is the figure. We have this. We're asked to find the area of the triangle in these figures, and we're asked to find the height. Okay, find the height. Number four, calculate the area of the parallelogram in this figure, then find height in centimeters. We're asked to calculate the area of this parallelogram and look for the height in centimeters. Number five, find the figure below, okay? Find the area of the figure below. The figure below is a trapezium. This is a trapezium. And we're asked to look for the area. Number six, a thread is wound round, is, is wound hundred times round a reel of a diameter three centimeters. Simply meaning the thread is wrapped hundred times around a reel of diameter Three centimeters. Calculate the length of the thread using 3.4 as pi. Number seven, four discs, four discs, each of radius one centimeters, are cut from a five, five centimeter by five centimeter cardboard square. Four discs, each of radius one centimeter, are cut from a five by five centimeter cardboard square. Use 3.14 for pi to find the area of the cardboard left over. Okay, we're giving uh, a cardboard which measures five, centi five centimeters by five centimeters, and we're giving the radius which is cut off. They say four discs are cut off. Four discs with this, with this given radius are cut off from a cardboard measuring these dimensions. We're asked to find the area of cardboard that is left over. I'll give us a few minutes to do these evaluations. Solution. Solution. We're asked to find the length of a square. Remember that a square has equal sides, and we said the area of a square is length raised to the power of 2. So to look for the length, we have to take the square root of the area. Very simply, the square root of 144 is 12 centimeters now numbers number two we're giving a question let's go over the question we asked we said a hall is in the shape of a square and it's measuring 30 meters by 30 meters now a, sh a podium in the shape of a rectangle is carved out and measures 25 by 5 centimeters calculate the space left so the first thing to do is to look for the area of the hall the area of the hall now Area is given as length by breadth, so we'll do the multiplication, and we have the area of the hall as 900 meters square. Next, we look for the area of the podium, okay? We look for the area of the podium, which is also length times breadth. Dimensions were given as 25 by 5 centimeters. So, multiplication, when we do the multiplication, we have the answer as 125 meters square. Now, to look for the space left over, we're going to subtract the area of the podium from the area of the hall. We've gotten the area of the hall as 900 and the area of the podium as 125. So when we do the subtraction, we have the area of the leftover space as 775 meters square. Now, number three, let us go over the question. It said we should calculate the area of the triangle shown below. We asked to calculate the area and we asked to look for the height. Now, let's go. Area of a triangle is given as half base times height. Okay, so we have the base given as 12 and the height as 6. So when we do the multiplication, we have the area as 36 centimeters. Now, if you look at this question properly, you will see that there is another triangle here formed. And we're asked to look for this height. 
So the formula for looking for height, we said it's area over base. So we've gotten the area as 36 centimeters square. We divide over the base, which is giving us 8 centimeters, and our answer is 4 and a half centimeters. Now, number four, we're giving the dimensions of a parallelogram, okay? If you look at that parallelogram, you see that it has two parts, okay? Let's look very closely. You see a part here and another part here. So, the formula for looking for the area of a parallelogram is base times height. So, we'll do the multiplication and we have the area of the parallelogram as 24 centimeters square. So, to look for the height of the other parts, we divide the area over base. We've gotten the area and the base is given, was given to us as 8 centimeters. We do the division and the height is 3 centimeters square. I hope you got that answer correctly. Number 5, we're asked to look for the area of a trapezium. Okay, we're given a trapezium with some dimensions and we're asked to look for the area. And we've said, we've established that the formula for looking for the area of a trapezium is half H representing height. Open brackets, A plus B. Okay? A plus B. Now, we impute our figures into the formula. We have half multiplied by 8. Open brackets, 6 plus 13. And the answer to that question, the area of the trapezium is 76 centimeters square. Now, number 6, let's go over to the question and read. A thread is wound 100 times round a reel. A thread is wrapped 100 times round a reel of a diameter, 3 centimeters, diameter, 3 centimeters. Calculate the length of the thread and take pi as 3.14. Now, solution. The diameter of the reel was given to us as 3 centimeters. So the first thing to do is to look for the radius. Okay? We look for the radius. So, in looking for the radius, we divide diameter over 2 because a radius is twice Diameter. So we just divide diameter over 2 and we have the radius as 1.5 or 1.5 centimeters. Now, to look for the area of the reel, we know the, the formula for looking for area. A reel is circular in shape, so the formula for looking for the area of any circular shape is pi r squared. So we impute all that into the formula, okay? And we have the answer. Now, to look for the length of the thread, we we'll multiply our answer, which is this, by 100. Remember, the question says that it was wrapped around the reel 100 times. So, when we do that, when we, do the, when, we simplify, when we simplify the answer, we have, when we simplify the equation, we have the answer as 706.5 centimeters. Now, the next question. Remember, the question says we're giving... Uh, uh, the dimension of a cardboard paper and some dicks were cut out of it. We're also giving the dimensions of the dicks that were cut out of the cardboard paper. And we're asked to look for the area that was left over after those dicks has been cut out. So the first thing to do is to look for the area of the squared cardboard paper. Remember, a cardboard paper has a square shape, so we look for the, the area of the cardboard paper. So, the dimensions given were 5 by 5, so we'll do the multiplication. And the area of the cardboard paper is 25 centimeters. Now, let's look for the area of the disc. Okay, a disc is, is circular in shape, so we use the formula for calculating area of a circle. So, the formula is pi r squared. So, we impute all our values into the um, formula. Remember, the question said that the area of the disc were 1 by 1 centimeters. So, we have the answer as 12.56 centimeters square. Now, to get the area that was left over after the disc has been cut out, we subtract the area of the four discs from the area of the cardboard paper. So, 25 minus 12.56 will give us 12.44 centimeters. If you got these answers correct, please put your hands together for yourself. And now, we've come to the end of the lesson today. Today, we learned a lot about area. We learned about area of triangle. We said that the area of a triangle is half base times height. The area of a parallelogram is base times height. We said that when a diagonal cuts across a parallelogram, we have two equal right angle triangles. We said that the area of a trapezium is half h, h which, is, which is the height. Open bracket, A plus B, which are the two parallel sides. We also said that the area of a square is 
L raised to the power 2, which is length times length. We said the area of a circle is pi r square. We said the area of a semicircle is half pi r square because it is a circle into 2. And we said the length of a rectangle is length times breadth. Please do well to go back and revise what we've studied today. So we'll see you in the next class. Thank you very much. Thank you.